Number one, a given that 5 log y to base 3 minus 2 log x plus 3 to base 3 is equal to 2 log y to base 3 plus log x to base 3. Express y in terms of x. So we are going to express y in terms of x is simply asking you to make y the subject of the formula, isn't it? You make y the subject of the formula. So the first thing to problems involving logarithmic equation, we must ensure that we have the same base all through, isn't it? After we have ensured we have the same base all through, the next step is to get rid of the coefficients, isn't it? So this coefficient of 5 becomes the power. So we have log y raised to power 5 to base 3. This coefficient 2 becomes the power. So we have minus log x plus 3 squared then to base 3 is equal to is equal to the coefficient becomes the power that is log y squared to base 3. Then there is no coefficient there, we have log x to base 3. So after getting rid of the coefficients, the next step is to make sure that we have one term on either side of the equation, isn't it? So what do we do? We factorize log to base 3 outside. So when you factorize log to base 3 outside, here we have y raised to power 5 and that term. So subtraction changes to Division. So we have y raised to power 5 over x plus 3 squared. Then on the other side of the equation, again, you factorize log to base 3 outside. So if you factorize log to base 3, addition changes to multiplication. So it means we multiply this term and that if you factorize the log outside. So we get y squared times x is xy squared. Then the next step is now to get rid of the log on both sides of the equation, isn't it? If you get rid of the log on both sides of the equation, we remain with y raised to power 5 over x plus 3 squared is equal to xy squared. So you make y the subject of the formula, meaning in terms of y, you take this side of the equation, in terms of x, you take the other side of the equation, isn't it? So we can start by dividing both sides of the equation with y squared so that y squared cancels with y squared, isn't it? Have you seen that? Then after that, we multiply both sides of the equation with x plus 3 squared, x plus 3 squared, so that this cancels with this, isn't it? Are we together? So we remain with y raised to the power 5 divided by y raised to power 2, that is loss of BDC, same base, you subtract the powers, isn't it? You end up with y raised to power 3 to be equals to, there we may with x into, into x plus 3 squared, isn't it? And you are told to make y the subject of the formula. What do you do? You get rid of power 3, isn't it? So how do you get rid of power 3? You multiply both sides of the equation with power 3, isn't it? So 3 times a third you remain with y. So you remain with y is equals to? x raised to power, or in simple form it is just the way it is, x into x plus 3 squared, then the whole of that is raised to power a third. And you've actually made y, you've written y in terms of x, so you've made y the subject of the formula, isn't it? Good.